So a lot of people that play Emergency Response Liberty County don't have the best computers in the world and Emergency Response Liberty County is quite a big game and it does lag quite a lot so in this video I'm going to be going through how you can actually reduce your lag or if you have a really really good computer how you can increase your FPS because if you don't know Roblox caps out at 60 FPS unless you have a Roblox FPS unlocker which is what I'm going to be talking about in this video as well as some other methods as well so if you do enjoy please do drop a like but let's get straight into it okay so the first way you can actually reduce your lag in in the game or in any Roblox game really is by just literally pressing escape go into settings turn down your graphics right that's fairly obvious and if you don't know what setting you should have it on just put it on automatic and then it will kind of go on what your computer can handle so obviously for mine automatic obviously puts it on max anyway um, or if you want to do it yourself and you can just go to manual and then you can you know select any amount here obviously the lower graphics you go the worse the game looks and obviously the less you can see like in the distance whereas say if you go on like half the game looks all right you can see all right distance ahead and if you go on something like 8 or 9, obviously the game looks a lot better and you can see further into the distance. And then on max, obviously the game looks really, really smooth and sharp and you can see basically far, far away into the distance. So that's the first way you can improve it. But let's go on to the FPS unlocker. So to do this, you want to go on to Google or whatever search engine you have and literally search up Roblox FPS on locker and then press enter and then it's this first link this github.com one this will also be linked in the description by the way and then all you need to do is press this here uh, rbx fps unlocker x64 dot zip just click that it will download as you can see down here then open that just there then close any of this that comes up and just double click on rbx fps unlocker and as you can see it came up with that little thing there for a second and now it is in my little tray here so okay so once you've downloaded that if you go down here yours might be different but for me it's this little up arrow here and then you can see this little roblox logo so this is all of the other stuff you would have open but if you click on this little roblox logo as you can see it brings up this thing so you can change the fps cap to whatever you want and default the fps cap in roblox is 60 fps so uh for example if i'm here and i press shift f so if I'm here and I press shift S5, as you can see in the top left, it will be capped at 60 FPS and it won't really go any higher than that. You can see it does have the ability to because it keeps kind of flickering just above 60 on 61 as you can see there. Obviously that goes straight back down because it's not unlocked and it's capped at 60. But if you go to the FPS cap and then for example you select like 240, then as you can see your FPS, now my graphics card definitely isn't the best. Uh, but as you can see my FPS is now about 100 and averaging at about 100 FPS and depending on where you look obviously now it's about 200 ish because I'm looking in the sky and there's kind of nothing to look at whereas if I look back in the city I kind of get about 80 or so but that's how you can actually like increase your FPS with an FPS unlocker and as you can see on here there are actually a few other things that you can do so you can unlock Roblox Studio as well and then there's advanced options as well like uh, quick start and silent errors don't really know what that is but you know yeah that's all there and if you want to unlock Roblox Studio um, then obviously that will unlock your FPS in Roblox Studio as well uh, if you have lag in Roblox Studio but yeah that is basically all really so I know this video is a little bit shorter than normal um, but I just wanted to talk about it to some of you guys because some of you were asking me and a lot of you were confused and stuff so yeah if you did enjoy please do drop a like if it helped you out drop a like share it to anyone you think could benefit from this or would find it uh, useful and check out everything else from the description as well but thank you very very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>